Hi everyone. Today we will study conversion between US and metric systems. Let's begin with the length. So we have some conversions here from US system to metric system. We begin with the first one. This is 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. The second is 1 foot equals 0 0.305 meter. The third is 1 yard equals 0 0.914 meter. The fourth is 1 mile equals 1.61 kilometers. We have one conversion here from metric system to US system, and that is 1 meter equals 3.28 feet. Let's see some examples. Example 1, convert 75 inches to centimeters. In symbol, we can write 75 IN or inches equals blank centimeter. We know that there is a conversion that is 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeter. So for our solution, we will copy again the problem and we will multiply this value into a value equal to 1. And this value equal to 1 will come from a fraction from this equation. So we see here we need to change these inches into centimeter. So what we will do, the 1 inch on the left side we should put in the denominator. Of course, the 2.54 will be there in the numerator. Intentionally, we did that so that we can cancel the inches unit. When we cancel the inches unit, only the centimeter unit remains. Then, we can now proceed with our multiplication. 75 times 2.54. And that is 190.5. We will copy the unit centimeter. And this is actually all over 1. With a denominator of 1, we don't need to write. So our final answer is 190.5 centimeter. Let us see example 2. Mr. Johnson built a 24-yard fence. Convert the fence length to meters. In symbol, we can write 24YD. This is for the yard symbol, equals blank M. We have one conversion unit here, one conversion equation, one yard equals 0 0.914 meter. So for the solution, again we will multiply these 24 yards into a value equal to 1. And this value equal to 1 will come from this equation. Since we want to delete the yard or to convert this yard into meter, we make sure that this one yard here will come in the denominator so that later we can cancel the unit yards. And the 0 0.914 meter will come in the numerator. So this value, since this door equal, it is a fraction now, it is equal to 1. Then, we cancel the yard unit. So, only the meter unit remains and that is what we want. Then, we proceed to multiplication. 24 multiplied to 0 0.914. We will get the value 21.936. And the unit M or meter will come here. So, the final answer is 21.936 meters. Let's proceed with the weight. So from US system converted to metric 
system, we have the first conversion, 1 pound, equals 0 0.45 kg or kilogram. The second, 1 ounce, equals 28 grams. There is one conversion from metric system to U.S. system, and that is 1 kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. Let's see examples. Convert 20 kilograms to pounds, or 20 kg equals blank LB. We have this conversion equation, 1 kg equals 2.2 LB. So for the solution, we will multiply the problem 20 kg into a value equal to 1. So we want to cancel the kg. We make sure that the 1 kg here, the left side will come in the denominator and the 2.2 will be in the numerator so that we can cancel the kg unit respectively. Then we proceed to multiplication. 20 multiplied to the 2.2, we will get the 44. Then we will copy the unit LB or pounds. So the final answer is 44 pounds. Let's see example 2. A huge machine weighs 1,650 pounds. Convert the weight to kilograms. In symbol, we write 1,650 LB equals blank kg. We know the conversion as 1 pound equals 0 0.45 kg. So, we are going to multiply the 1,650 pounds into a value equal to 1. And then we want to cancel the LB. So we now make this value equal to 1 into a fraction, but we make sure that the 1 LB will come in the denominator, followed by the 0 0.45 kg in the numerator. So this value here is equal to 1 because they are equal. And then we can now cancel the LB unit. When we cancel, only the kg unit remains. So we can now proceed to our multiplication, 1650 multiplied by 0 0.45. So we'll have this 742.5 kg, and that is our answer. Let's go to the volume. So from U.S. system, converted to metric system, the first conversion equation here is 1 quart equals 0 0.95 liter. The second, 1 fluid ounce equals 30 ml or milliliters. 1 gallon equals 3.785 liters. There is one conversion from metric system to U.S. system, and that is 1 liter equals 1.06 quart. Let's see some examples. Abdullah bought 10 gallons of paint. Convert the volume to liters. In symbol, I write here 10 gal equals blank L. Our conversion equation, 1 gallon equals 3.785 liters. So we will multiply our problem, 10 gallons, into a value equal to 1. And this value 1, again, will come from this conversion equation. So we want to cancel the gal. Again, the one gal or the left side with a gallon unit should come in the denominator followed by 
the 3.785 liters will come in the numerator. So we can now cancel the gallon unit. Only the liter unit will remain. So let us multiply now the 10 with the 3.785. The answer is 37.85. And then we affix that unit liter. So this is our final answer, 37.85 liters. Let us see example 2. Mother prepares 600 ml of juice. How many fluid ounces of juice are there? So we put in equation 600 ml equals blank FL OZ or fluid ounce. Our conversion unit here is 1 fluid ounce equals 30 ml. So for the solution, we copy again the problem. We multiply it into a value equal to 1. This value equal to 1 will come from this conversion. Since we want to delete the ml or we want to convert the ml into the fluid ons, we make sure that ml must be cancelled later. So the ml with the 30 will come in the denominator. Of course, the one fluid ons in the numerator. And then we cancel the ml unit respectively. So we multiply the 600 times 1 is 600. We copy the unit FL ohms. The 30 comes in the denominator. And then we divide 600 by 30. We will get the final answer of 20 FL ohms. Thank you for watching the video. See you again next time.